the end of Kimi Velocini in Gran Turismo 7. In this video, you're going to see why Kimi is going to be no more in GT7 because it looks like the response to my videos has been absolutely insane. Kimi Velocini can basically no longer race in GT7. I don't personally condone this, but as you're going to see in this video, it's now incredibly difficult for Kimi Velocini to actually have it his own way in GT7. This is quite incredible stuff, really. It's the community coming back to fight back against Kimi. You can see here, whoa, the black Subaru WRX clearly has had enough of Kimi's antics. Again at the hairpin here, he's coming in hot. Oh, almost again. Look, he's, he obviously does not want to allow Kimi Velocini to cause carnage in this race. And you're going to see this throughout this video in some really insane race. Kimi lose it on the exit. Have a look at Pat. Big old Pat there in the Subaru. What's he going to try and do? Kimi is bumping the German. He comes out wide. Oh, he's going to try and take him out. Oh, it's all absolute carnage. He takes him out in, uh, in, in the process of doing it. Let's have a look here from Pat. But clearly, Pat is fighting back. People are fighting back against Kimi Velocini, and it gets it gets a lot more intense. Have a look here. Have a look at Titus in the green. Kimi is afraid, by the way. You're going to see here, Kimi is going to flinch. Titus goes, shapes. Have a look at this. Oh, do you see Kimi there just flinching out of the way? You thought Titus was going to take him out. That is the end of the race for this one. But if you want to see Kimi getting taken out, well... This is going to be pretty, pretty, pretty exciting stuff here. We're again at Deep Forest in the uh, Peugeot YCZ. Pick my Peugeot name in the dirt here is Kimi. Slowing everyone down, but it's not going to end up well for Kimi. Have a look here. He's on the outside. Lucas go through and Kinejo. Oh, no, Kimi Villaccini. What are you doing? Reversing into the barrier. He's at, oh, three, a terrible three-point turn. He fails. And again, hits a really, Kimi is all at sea basically going down to last place here my word here we go again you can see with scotty oh no scotty puts him in the wall absolutely insane stuff here for kimmy velocini and again here at dragon trail gardens wow what do you think the italian's gonna do it's a punt from long range again i don't i don't condone it but if you want to see kimmy what are you doing here going into the barrel that ain't gonna work and Kimi again is going to end up going down to last place. Have a look again. Target acquired. Is this legitimate? Let me know in the comments. Do you think this is okay? Do you think it's okay for drivers to do this against Kimi Velocini? Everything we've seen Kimi Velocini do... This one, by the way, is absolutely insane. This one is a madness. We've seen Kimi Velocini put people into the pits here so many times at Monza. But what does... What does your own medicine taste like? We're going to have a look. The Norwegian driver's having none of it. Swings out wide, comes in. Kimi Velocini is taking a one-way trip to the pits. Actually going to end up in the pit boss. There's the Kimi crew. Got to have a look at this again. Kimi getting a big... You know, what comes around goes around, Kimi. That seems to be the motto of this race. And this pit crew's like, what? Unscheduled stop. What about here? We're at the Nordschleib. What, the Nürburgring, I should say. Um... What is going to happen here at the Nord... I keep saying Nord Cyphers, it's a Nürburgring. And he's going out side by side here with the Danish driver going out wide. They're all going to be after him. He's a marked man, is Kimi. Everyone knows about Kimi Velocini. We've made Kimi famous on this channel, that is true. But now people know. People know about Kimi. So he's not just going around anon anon anonymously ruining people's races people know what Kimi's about they know what he's done before and they know what he's going to do again as he gets a little tap Kimi goes wide going to lose a load of positions the front tyre smoking on the master Atenza but it's absolute carnage in this lobby is anyone else going to do some vigilante justice I don't know I don't know maybe not in this one back to drag tail cards up in a Porsche 911. He's pushing out the other Porsche. Oh, everyone's seen it. Takes out maybe two drivers there. But what are the what's the the pack, the flock? What are they going to do? It's now KGT in the Aston. They're all bumping him. They're all bumping him. Not a penalty to be seen anywhere, by the way. Can we know? Side by side with the Aston. The Aston goes off. Oh my word! This is an absolute filth behind. This is. Hang on. This is the dirtiest lobby I've ever seen in my life. About 10 billion cars. 
in close proximity there. Oh, Wab, the Subaru just took out like three drivers there, and the Russian comes in, takes out Kimi. Oh, Kimi's going to lose a loads of positions here. Kimi is not getting it all his own way. Kimi, Kimi just looks quite average in this lobby, I've got to say. What's the Swiss driver going to do? Swiss driver. Oh, he won't be happy about that, will the Swiss? Watch out, Kimi, from what's coming behind. Kimi is just falling backwards here. And keep an eye on this Swiss driver, Marine, because Kimi is not making any friends in this lobby. What comes around goes around into the corner. Bosch. The Swiss driver says, that's enough, Kimi. I'm going to give you a manual penalty. The lobby is fighting back. The drivers are fighting back. By the way, if you like what we're doing here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Let us know in the comments what you would do with Kimi Velocini in Gran Turismo 7. The Polif needs to... Oh, he's, he's pushed off. Big Al there. Big Al from Poland has been pushed off. And again, if you, if you annoy these drivers, it's going to come round to you, Kimi. That's what we're seeing. If you're going to consistently punt, provoke drivers, don't be surprised when they fight back. The community is fighting back. Another Danish driver taking out DCR Davo there putting him, him almost onto the grass. Nice move on the Italian, to be fair, but then runs wide. And now he's going to fall back in the clutches of the drivers that he'd been punting before. Oh, Big Spin didn't even need to. Big Al goes through. Kimi just loses it. The shine is wearing off for Kimi. Here we go again into Lagos. Big Al's ahead of him, the Polish driver. What's Kimi going to do? Be careful, Kimi. Don't make any enemies here. You don't want to. Big Al goes up the inside. What's going to happen here is Al versus Kimi. Kimi goes through, but Al, oh, a little bit of a tap. And again, it's really, this is it now, the battle, the glorious battle for 12th place. Al with another hit. Oh, Kimi's going to go. Is he going to go? Kimi goes round. A successful hit for Al there. Again, I told, I promised you in this video you were going to see Kimi not getting it his own way, and that is what we're doing. We're delivering. And wow, I mean, ugh, I don't know what to make of this because... So many instances here of Kimmy getting taken out. Oh, just wiping out. Come on, Kimmy, you can drive better than that. You've got the old uh, counter steer assist on. Oh, and the ghosting coming in absolutely clutch as well. In a Renault now at Deep Forest is one of Kimmy's favourite stomping grounds, but hasn't proved to be very successful. Do you agree with this vigilante justice for Kimmy Velocini? Let me know in the comments. It's pretty insane what we're seeing here. The GTR's got the wipers on in rage and being squeezed oh no it's a takeout it's a self takeout there for Kimmy so in the process of doing a takeout there he's going back all the way to 11th place with a 5 second penalty penalty system coming in clutch here you love to see it wow I, you know, I've never seen that normally when we look at Kimmy Velocini is Kimmy Velocini just getting it all his own way but here getting slapped with a massive penalty oh and another 2 second penalty you love to see it. Oh, and the ghosting as well. Now it's Kimi versus Javier Vidal. Javier Vidal here. What's going to happen? What's Javier going to do? Monsieur Vidal moves across, goes defensive. Kimi now has the red miss. He's going to try and push Vidal. Vidal might go wide himself. Kimi's obviously going to try. Oh, it's all fun and games here. All fun and games, but enter the German. Enter the German driver, 53. What is 53 going to do? Trying to go up the inside. Oh, they both go, but it's a successful takeout from the German. It's like a bee when a bee stings you. It's like the bee, the bee might be finished, but he, he did his job. And that's what 53 has done. This has been absolutely insane. Let me know if you want to see more videos of Kimmy getting taken out, and we can do that for you. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you. I'll see you next time.